It's a battle for the Toledo Cup taking place at Woodward. Boys soccer start and Bowser. These two teams so evenly matched, it's scoreless into the 63rd minutes. Terrace Apaya showing off some fancy footwork, hits Brandon Scott with a precise pass, and Scott boots it in. Start on the board first. A few minutes later, Blue Racers with a penalty kick. Cooper Lehman sneaks it through, and we're tied at one. It stayed that way until the end of regulation, and we headed to a shootout. Both teams made three. Brandon Scott with a chance to pull ahead. He finds the back of the net. Bowser, they need to make, they need a make to continue. Jack Zamuda is the one on the shot. He takes the shot, and it goes over the crossbar. Start gets the shutout win, taking the Toledo Cup. Feels great. Uh, we've had a, a lot of opportunities and two two years losing, so coming in third time and winning just feels wonderful because we've wanted this for so long now, and it just feels great. Great win for us. It felt great. I've never felt anything like that. It was just a rush of emotion, and I was so happy to see that happen. It sucks for them, but we wanted it more, and we just came with the win. It felt great. Wonderful. I'm so happy. In the girls' championship, it's a rematch of last year's title game between Boucher and Lima Sr. The Blue Racers race out of the gates. Yersi Verdon delivers the through ball, but Jaislyn Ingram beats Ashley Lawrence to the ball to stop the threat. On the other end, the Spartans have one, two, three chances to capitalize, but Camp, it's an easy save for Kamaya Draper. So it's scoreless until the 50. Seventh minute when Boucher trying to clear the ball out of their defensive zone, but Adriana Good makes a play and fires it top shelf to take the lead. And one goal is all the Spartans would need to repeat as City League champs. A school record number of wins for Lima Senior this season, giving them confidence and momentum heading into the playoffs. I guess just remember that we can do it because we did lose to Boucher once and then we. Um, won against them the next time and then won the championship. So I guess just remember that we can do it even when we don't think we can. Um, I was just really proud of the teamwork that went into it, everyone playing their positions. It all leads up to the goal, not just one person. Kevin Peel and Francis Stevens break down both championship matches. The Toledo Cup never disappoints, and especially when you have Start and Bowser matching up on the boys' side for the third time this season. Close games in the regular season, and now you see a game go to penalty kicks to start us off today. What a thrilling end. Well, the biggest thing for Start was they wanted to keep everything in front of them. Obviously, some missing components for that Bowser side today, but Start found a way. They showed some resilience, and it came down to their seniors, guys like Brandon Scott, who scored in every single game this year against Bowser. He gets the goal, but not only the goal, he gets the game-winning penalty kick as well, too. So that really seals the deal for them. Last year, it was very disappointing. Beat them twice in the regular season, lost in the, in the championship game. But they were able to find a chance today to win and bring it back over on 2010, Tremainsville. Yeah, absolutely. Bowser had won both games in the regular season, but Stark found a way to bounce back here and claim a City League crown, ending Bowser's two-year run at the top. On the other side of things, Lima Sr., Welcome to the City League. Not only a championship <laughs> last year, a second consecutive here. Coach Franzalia has this group on a great run. And not only that, double-digit wins for the first time in program history. It's unbelievable the turn of events that have happened when they've come in the City League. It was always a really big struggle for them in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference because you're playing against teams that have kids that play this game. But they've won 10 games. They've won back-to-back -back league championships. Coach Franz has got this team going in a really good direction. And how about the peach of a goal from junior Adrian? Adriana Good to give them the lead there and, and the game winner. That really shows you the resiliency of this team and how much they've grown down there. This team's got a shot. You know, they got to go to play against Elida on Wednesday in their first tournament game. I wouldn't put anything past them because I think this team, they have some athletes and can do some really good stuff. And hey, they got a lot to be proud of heading right now to Allen County. But hey, it's always good to see the basketball team when they come up here in South yeah. Carolina as well, too. <laughs> they sure did. Of course, Lima Senior factors to be a huge factor in boys' basketball as well. But but they are rolling in football and the girls claim a soccer championship as well this afternoon.